So now I'm going to show you how to find out the Laplace of a given function. So the Laplace transform of a function can be said as an operation done on that function which results in a new function. So here if our function is f of t the Laplace of f of t will be nothing but integration from 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt which gives us a new function f in terms of s. Here s is nothing but a constant. So in our given problem f of t is nothing but sine of 2t. So we will replace it here in our formula. So Laplace of sine 2t will be nothing but integration from 0 to infinity e power minus st into sine 2t dt. So here we can see that there are two different functions and we need to integrate them. Uh, so we can use nothing but the bypass method of integration which can be said as u into v dt if there is an integration something like u into v dt where u and v are separate functions in terms of t the, their integration can be written as u into integration of v minus the whole integration of differentiation of u into integration of v so let us assume that the integration of e power minus st sin 2t is equal to i excluding the limits at the end we'll put the limits i just find it easier to put the limits at the end so let it be i so by applying the bypass formula we'll get u here is e power minus st so we'll get e power minus st into integration of sin 2t dt minus differentiation of e power minus st will be nothing but minus s e power minus st into here dif uh, integration of sin 2t so the integration of sin 2t will be nothing but cos 2t minus cos 2t by 2 so we'll write that here this integration will be minus cos 2t upon 2 minus minus s e power minus s t again the same integration it will be nothing but minus of cos 2t by 2 so it will give us this thing will give us e power minus s t into cos 2t upon 2 minus integration we can take the s outside since since it is a constant be nothing but e power minus st we can also take the two outside cos 2t now you can see there is one more integration for which separately we will have to apply bypass formula so we will do that here separately e power minus st integration of cos 2t will be sin 2t upon 2 minus we can take out the s outside integration of e power minus st and this will be the integration of cos 2t will be nothing but sin 2t by 2 i'll take the 2 outside i'll write it properly yeah so we can see that here this thing is nothing but i from which we started so i'll replace this thing with i so this will be this i'll replace this whole thing over here so now I just replaced uh, the integration of e power minus st cos 2t by this thing which we got in the previous step. So now here which is equal to i basically from the starting we took. So now taking this term this side I will get and taking i as common I will get nothing but 4 plus s square by 4 which will be equal to minus e power minus st into cos 2t by 2 minus s into per minus st sin 2t by 4 so so in the starting we did not put limits so now we'll put the limits so our t 
is from 0 to infinity. I put the limits because our Laplace transformation wanted that. So now at the end I'm finally putting the limits of t from 0 to infinity. So 4 upon 4 plus s square will be as it is. Now while taking t as infinity, let's check this term. Here there is cos 2t. For whatever value of t there be, cos 2t will result in values from minus 1 to 1. So we'll keep that aside. When I put t as infinity in this term e power minus st, you can see that this minus st will be nothing but minus infinity when I put t as infinity. And e power minus infinity will be nothing but 0. It will be tending to 0. So this whole term will become 0 when I put t as infinity. Why? But there is one condition for s. Uh, s should be positive because if s turns out to be negative, this whole term will become e power infinity and this term will then be infinity and hence it won't be solvable. So we'll put the condition on s that s should be positive. So here this term will be 0. 0. Again, putting t as 0, same thing. Sin 2t will be nothing from minus 1 to 1. But e power minus st, given that s is positive, will tend to 0. And hence, again, this term will be 0. So it is again 0. When I put t as 0, here, it will be cos 0, which will be 1. And then e power minus st, which will be e power 0, will again be 1. So it will be nothing but 1 upon 2. And here when I put t is equal to 0, this term will be 1. But sin 2t will be sin 0 which is 0. So again this thing will be 0. So finally what we get is 4 upon 4 plus s square into 1 by 2. Which is nothing but 2 upon 4 plus s square. So finally the Laplace of sin 2t after putting the kita after putting the limits and all doing all of that will result in this thing 2 upon 4 plus s square and ha our condition was s should be positive so this is how you find the laplace of a given function f of t here f of t was sine 2t and that's how you do it thank you